the phoenix and the turtle by william shakespeare this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain let the bird of loudest lay on the sole arabian tree herald sad and trumpet be to whose sound chaste wings obey but thou shrieking harbinger foul precurrer of the fiend augur of the fever's end to this troop come thou not near from this session interdict every fowl of tyrant wing save the eagle feathered king keep the obsequy so strict let the priest in surplice white that defunctive music can be the death divining swan lest the requiem lack his right and thou treble dated crow that thy sable gender mak'st with the breath thou givest and tak'st mongst our mourners shalt thou go here the anthem doth commence love and constancy is dead phoenix and the turtle fled in a mutual flame from hence so they loved as love in twain had the essence but in one two distincts division none number there in love was slain hearts remote yet not asunder distance and no space was seen twixt the turtle and his queen but in them it were a wonder so between them love did shine that the turtle saw his right flaming in the phoenix's sight either was the other's mine property was thus appalled that the self was not the same single nature's double name neither two nor one was called reason in itself confounded saw division grow together to themselves yet either neither simple were so well compounded that it cried how true a twain seemeth this concordant one love hath reason reason none if what parts can so remain whereupon it made this threen to the phoenix and the dove co-supreme and stars of love as chorus to their tragic scene threnos beauty truth and rarity grace in all simplicity here enclosed in cinders lie death is now the phoenix's nest and the turtle's loyal breast to eternity doth rest leaving no posterity twas not their infirmity it was married chastity truth may seem but cannot be beauty brag but tis not she truth and beauty buried be to this urn let those repair that are either true or fair for these dead birds sigh a prayer end of poem <laughs>